I am home after going out with my parents earlier today. Um, we plan to go to Japanese, the Japanese Friendship Garden in Balboa Park. I am honestly kind of disappointed, frustrated, kind of angry about how today went. Um, I'm not really sure if I want to delve into too much detail, but basically my dad was on the phone a lot and they were also half the time on their cell phones trying to do something and it uh, really pissed me off because, you know, <clears throat> I feel like I already have very low patience for my family. Um, a lot of my previous experiences with them as a teenager were not pleasant. Um, notably, one of the vacations that I mentioned is one that we took together in 2011 and I was really unhappy during that trip. As an adult now, I don't like to feel that way anymore when I go out with them, but today I really did and that just makes me so unhappy. I pretty much told them that I wanted to come home at like 3.30 because I, was, I didn't want to spend any more time with them if they were going to be wasting my time like that. I totally forgot that there was going to be rush hour today, so coming home at 3.30 was a good idea, but I was not happy. It's only 4.30 right now, and I just cooked a bunch of dinner to split across several meals for my rotisserie chicken. So I will eat that now and try to watch a movie to cheer up. I have been reading And Then There Were None a lot. I really enjoy the book. Thank you so much for recommending it to me. It's just an awesome quick read. It's also super entertaining. It just draws you in. I have less than 100 pages left to go. My next book I decided to buy was Brave by Rose McGowan. I know that she rubs a lot of people the wrong way. <sighs> you know, I am starting to embrace people that are just wacky and different. And I know that she is a big supporter of women's rights and just, you know, sexual harassment and assault on women, so I feel like she has been, she's very vocal. I like that she's not afraid to express herself. She is who she is. I watched an interview of her on Stephen Colbert and all of the YouTube comments were basically saying how like, she's fucking loony, she's crazy, she's wrong, messed up in the head. And these people are just like, I feel like they can't think for themselves or something. Like if someone acts slightly different than normal, they think they're crazy. I thought she was fine. She was perfectly normal to me. Um, she was way more animated than some guests are. So I decided to buy her hardcover. It's arriving on Sunday. So unfortunately, if I finish my Agatha Christie book today, I won't have anything to read for two days. Unless I go to Barnes and Nobles tomorrow. I might do that because reading Agatha Christie's book. I've been enjoying it so much and Murder on the Orient Express is probably going to be out soon to watch so I want to read that book before I watch it. So I will probably buy that as well. So loving these mystery stuff and yes time to eat. Hello it's Friday night. 
Um, earlier, I pretty much ended up watching... <laughs> so I said I wasn't going to watch Murder on the Orient Express before reading the book, but it just happened to come out and I was like, you know what, I'm very curious. Um, I'm really enjoying the other book that I'm reading and then there were none, so I figured let's just give it a shot and see. Um, unfortunately, I did not like the movie. I don't know if that book or even the other one and then there were none, I'm not sure if these books would translate well to the movies because, you know, there's just a lot of suspecting each other, questions, discussions about what's going on and in the movie, at least, it was kind of boring. I also did not like that they just used a bunch of big name actors and actresses for all of the roles. I found that very distracting. And I did not like the dialogue. I'm not sure if they just modernized the text compared to the way that Agatha Christie wrote it, but yeah, it was a little disappointing. Um, I wouldn't even give it average because I found it very boring, so I would give it a two out of five. I have been so fatigued lately. I don't understand. Like right now I'm pretty tired, but there are qualifiers happening soon with Newbie, and you guys know how much I love Newbie, so even if it's just qualifiers, they're not playing like some garbage team, they're playing a pretty decent team, like top, top 15, I think they're rank 11 maybe, VGJ Thunder, and so I'm going to be watching that and then finishing up my book. Tomorrow I am going with my parents to see some open houses. Hello peoples, so right now, I'm about to head out to that Del Mar neighborhood that I love to bring Riley to because we just got back from three open houses and they were not very good. I mean, actually one of them was pretty decent for my parents, but the other two had bad neighborhoods. They were in El Cajon. Yeah, so tomorrow our goal is actually going to be to go to houses that are more expensive, like 600 to 700,000 because I kind of had a feeling that the 400 to 500 range would not really be acceptable to them for what they're used to in New Jersey, which is just more space. They also have a very large yard. Um, I think their house is, they said like 2,000, 2,500 square feet maybe because they kind of count a lot of the open space. So their entryway is very open. The ceiling is super high because they have two stories. So that's probably what they're hoping to find similar. I mean, they might not necessarily find a two story because it's California. Everything is like a ranch style house around here. But um, I do think they also, you know, have different preferences than me. So bringing them to Alpine was kind of pointless. My mom didn't like how remote it was. Even though some of the houses weren't, you know, actually isolated, she still felt that way because she's used to neighborhoods that, you know, have houses everywhere and it feels like a community instead of independent, right? So I figured, um, I really do think that Del Mar neighborhood would be appealing for them. It's in a very good location. Um, I do think the price ranges of those houses also, they, uh, they vary quite a bit. Like, yeah, upwards is definitely some over 1 million, but on, I think there should be some around there, around 600,000. So definitely a good range that could possibly be to their liking. So we're going there now. I took my parents to that neighborhood. <laughs> of course, it turns out that the pricing there is definitely expensive. Um, there were condos there that were going for 820,000. Three bedroom, also some two bedroom, but they also didn't have a lot of backyard space. So they kind of wanted to look around, but didn't feel like it would be worthwhile, especially because they're not looking for a condo whatsoever. But yeah, aside from that, they figured they were just going to drive around for the rest of the day and we decided to just split up. Um, since I am out, I decided to stop by the mall because my new workplace, apparently you can't wear high heels, you can't wear open toe shoes or anything. 
and I have a very small-ish shoe wardrobe where all of them are heels or they're sneakers or I have one pair of flip-flops that I wear around the house you know just to walk around like just the convenient shoe to go outside in so I need to buy a pair of flats surprisingly I'm not that crazy girl that goes to the mall and just goes apeshit and buys a ton of stuff I usually go to the mall now with a plan so my plan is just the flats really I like making sure I buy something that I will really enjoy so it'll probably be in the 100 to 200 range I'd say um, I also see here and forgot that there is a cheesecake factory and I do like whoa what was that a water bottle I do like cheesecake factory so maybe I'll eat there it's only four o'clock though it'd be kind of early for lunch should I get a cheesecake though I don't know <laughs> Cheesecake means that I need to work harder from working out, and we know that's not gonna happen, so. Hmm. Things to consider. Well, home sweet home. I pretty much got home a couple minutes ago. I decided to brush fry life because I haven't in over a month. <laughs> and, you know, sometimes even though I get hair off of her when I brush her, it feels a little pointless. I mean, I guess it's good for distributing the oils on her skin and all of that, but in terms of like hair containment it doesn't feel like it does very much um, I am making myself some oatmeal it's not really my dinner I have a bowl of dinner that I will plan on eating later that has you know vegetables and meat and all that I just wanted to make oatmeal because I bought some blueberries uh, a couple days ago and I haven't had any yet so I need to eat them okay so uh, I said I was going to the mall to buy flats right so I did buy a pair the price range of this pair was probably not what I should have done so I was browsing online a couple days ago and this isn't a pair that I was unaware of I've known of this brand and this particular flat for a while but it is on the expensive side so I was thinking that I should not buy it <laughs> but but when I got to the store, I saw it and it was beautiful and I tried it on. So I originally planned on going to the mall to try on some Tory Burch flats because they are in like $200 range. They look very pretty. And I was hoping that lately they changed their style so that they became more comfortable. So I wanted to go there in person to try them on and see. And I did see their pairs there. But I definitely noticed when I tried on this pair, these are Chloe's, let me show you guys. All right, before I reference it and talk about my comparison, I will show, this is the box, Chloe. And here is one shoe, it looks like this. Side, front. So these are a pair of 36. I actually normally size in 6.5 or 7. So it's good I went there in store to try them on. My goal was not to buy this pair, okay? I saw them and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try these on and see how it fits. And the thing is, when I wore these, I didn't feel any pressure around my foot at all. And my history with Tory Burch flats was that they were really beautiful. Tory Burch flats are extremely popular among girls. So many people rate them highly as comfortable and they look very nice. The Her logo looks very nice on the flat. But the thing is, I've had three pairs of them in the past and they fucking hurt, like killing my foot. I wore them to New York because it's like, hey, these are flats. They should be comfortable for lots of walking, but it they would single-handedly destroy my trip because my feet are in so much pain. So. I was hoping that trying them on again, it would feel different. And yeah, they did feel a little different, but they still have elastic on the heel area. And I think even if you try them on in, in the beginning and it doesn't feel like it's that strong of a pressure, I think over time while you're wearing it, it will still be bothersome. So 
Just the difference when I wore these, I did. I felt like I didn't need to break them in when I was walking around the store. Like they just felt like they fit my feet well. I was walking around, they weren't sliding off or anything. There was no pressure around my foot. For flats, I just, whenever I buy anything for fashion, I cannot buy something that I'm not overly thrilled about. And that's why I decided to buy these more expensive ones because I can't buy flats that I'm like half in love with. I have to really, really like them and make sure that I know they're comfortable. And since Tory Burch shoes, to me, I feel like their quality in construction and fit and comfort are shit. I didn't want to take that risk again to buy from them, so I decided to get Chloe's. I mean, the scallop side, the scallop side is so beautiful. And this, this nude color and this new leather f smell and feel is like so nice, which means I have to take really good care of these. Like, even though these are for work, I'm gonna have to make sure that I keep them in pristine condition. I have to put them away after I get home so Milo doesn't use it to like sharpen his claws or anything. Ooh. My uh, oatmeal is starting to stick to the pan. Let me prepare that. Whoa, is that your stomach? All right, so here's my oatmeal. I finished my walnuts and I have the usual granola, some blueberries and some sliced almonds. And I guess a quick thing, since I've always been very transparent about price, these flats are $495 and with tax, they came out to like $533. So yes, quite pricey. Tory Burch flats roughly land around $190 to $250, I guess, depending on what, what specific style you buy. Yeah, I mean, I guess overall I'm like really happy with this purchase, of course. I freaking love, I like luxury goods, but um, I mean, I will be wearing these very often, so it's definitely worth it. And the comfort, comfort always comes first. But most of you guys are probably men, so none of that matters to you guys. Not compared to us females.